Hello, my name is Ben Manalo and I'm an Advanced Certified Body Talk Instructor and Practitioner currently based in Denver, Colorado. I've been practicing the Body Talk system since 2001 and teaching one-day introductory Body Talk workshops and advanced Body Talk workshops across the United States and internationally since 2005. Body Talk is a cutting edge consciousness based healthcare system, which is based on the fact that everything is made of energy and everything is consciousness. By combining Eastern philosophical principles with Western scientific understanding, Body Talk taps into your body mind's natural ability to heal itself without it needing drugs, surgery, or other invasive procedures. Body Talk uses a wide range of subtle energy-based techniques to increase clarity and communication throughout the body-mind complex. In doing so, Body Talk effectively bridges the gap between ancient wisdom and modern science, and the result is improved health, well-being, and quality of life. In this video, I'd like to share with you the Body Talk Cortices technique. Cortices is considered to be the most fundamental and therefore the most critical of all the basic Body Talk techniques. The underlying theory is that all aches and pains, all symptoms, conditions, and states of dis-ease are reflected in the brain at some level. So the main focus of the cortices technique is to improve the health and function of the entire body-mind complex by improving the health and function of the brain. We're going to do this by focusing on three things. One, improving the circulation and communication throughout the brain. Two, decreasing the stress response and overreactions to stress. And three, helping your body mind to let go of its attachments to beliefs that are impacting your health and well-being. In the videos titled Body Talk Cortices Parts 1, 2, and 3, I went into a fair amount of depth explaining the primary focus and intent of the cortices technique. If you haven't yet watched those videos, I strongly encourage you to do so. The more you understand about what it is you're doing, the stronger your focus and the more effective the cortices balancing will be. This technique only takes about two to three minutes to do, and when applied mindfully and consistently as part of your daily routine, much like brushing your teeth, you will experience changes in your overall health, well-being, and quality of life sometimes quite dramatically and within a very short period of time. Cortices is very simple to do and requires three main parts. Deep exaggerated breathing, a gentle tapping on the head, chest, and belly, and specific hand placements. Let's briefly look at each. So the first, deep exaggerated breathing. Obviously, breathing is crucial for life, but breathing has several functions beyond inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. Breathing actually helps with the pumping and circulation of fluids and subtle energies throughout the body-mind. And every time you inhale and exhale, you stretch your body from the inside out. This stretching of your connective tissue helps release physical, mental, and emotional tension held in your body. From a yoga point of view, your body-mind uses your breathing as a scanning tool. When you inhale, your body-mind is scanning the higher vibrational frequencies, things like your thoughts, your attitudes, your belief systems, your emotions, subtle energies like the chakras and the chi and the meridians. When you exhale, your body-mind is scanning the lower, denser, slower vibrational frequencies. The densest frequencies being your bones, and then your muscles, your organs, and the various systems of your body. 
As you breathe, your body mind is using your breath to scan the various energetic frequencies for imbalances. So in doing the cortices technique, be sure to take deep exaggerated breaths. What I mean by deep exaggerated breath is a full complete inhalation and a full complete exhalation. When you inhale, feel the breath begin in your pelvis and travel up your torso to the, part, to the upper part of your chest like a wave. And then when you exhale, feel that wave in reverse. The exhalation traveling down your body from your upper chest and then ending up in your abdominal muscles with your abdominal muscles contracting and your belly flattening. Deep, exaggerated breathing. The second is a gentle tapping on your head, chest, and belly. There are other modalities and traditions which use tapping on the body to facilitate healing. What's unique to the Body Talk system is that we only tap on three areas, the head, chest, and belly. In Body Talk, we recognize and acknowledge that you actually have three brains in your body, not just the one in your head. So in addition to the brain in your head, the head brain, you also have a brain in your chest, which we call the heart brain, and a brain in your belly, known as the gut brain or enteric brain. So we tap on these three areas to activate the brain in that area. Tap on the head to activate the head brain, tap on the chest to activate the heart brain, and tap over the navel to activate the gut brain or the enteric brain. The tapping creates a vibration, resonance, and a standing wave pattern that helps to set the balancing into motion. Each of the brains has its own strengths and plays a role in helping you to navigate your way through life. The head brain basically functions just like a computer. It downloads information and it runs programs. It does do some thinking and conceptualizing, but mainly it just downloads information and it runs programs. The heart brain keeps us in touch with who we are. When we emphasize, this is who I am, or it's my life, or it's mine, we always point to our hearts. We don't point at our heads or our bellies and say, this is who I am. It's mine, it's my life. Plus, in English, we have phrases such as, follow your heart, and you know it in your heart of hearts. So these phrases actually demonstrate this instinctive and intuitive sense of the heart functioning just like a brain. The heart is a guiding force in our lives. The role of the gut brain or the enteric brain is to help you make decisions and exercise discernment. Is this right or wrong? Is this good or bad? Is this true or false? Etc. Again, we have phrases which support this instinctive and intuitive understanding of the gut functioning just like a brain. You trust your gut, you go with your gut, you feel it in your gut. So your gut also tries to get your attention to help you navigate your way through life. So the three brains are intended to work together as a team, as a single unit, as a single functioning brain, so to speak. Unfortunately, over the centuries, the head brain has received most people's focus and attention. This has resulted in most people living in their heads, living from their heads, and being too headstrong. Meanwhile, the heart and the gut are often dismissed, ignored, and underestimated in the roles they play. 
when the three brains are functioning healthily as a team. The heart brain anchors the other two brains, the head brain and the enteric brain. When that happens, we feel more balanced and more centered. The whole system calms, there's an increased sense of going with the flow, and life becomes more peaceful and more enjoyable. So when we're doing the cortices, we'll be gently tapping on these three areas to activate each of the three brains, to get them involved in the balancing process, and to build the habit of them working together as a team. When you tap on the head to activate the head brain, you'll make sure to have your fingers spread out wide enough so that when you tap on the head, you're tapping on both sides of the head simultaneously. This is because you want to make sure to activate both hemispheres of the brain. So when you tap, it's just a gentle tapping. You can tap here on the forehead, just above the eyebrows. You can tap towards the top of the head. You can even tap in the back of the head. The important thing is that you're tapping on both sides of the head simultaneously in order to activate both hemispheres of the brain. When you tap on the chest to activate the heart brain, you can tap anywhere here on the breastbone. It doesn't matter where. You can tap towards the top of the breastbone, towards the middle, or towards the bottom, as long as you're tapping on the breastbone, on the sternum, and that will activate the heart brain. When you tap on the belly to activate the enteric brain, tapping anywhere around the navel is going to be fine to help activate the enteric brain. The third is you're going to place your hand on specific parts of your head to bring focus to different parts of the brain. You're going to systematically cover your brain with your hand from the base of the skull all the way up to the eyebrows, finishing up with your hands on the sides of your head. Each hand position is bringing focus and awareness to the parts of the brain underneath and emphasizing the intents mentioned earlier, improving circulation and communication, decreasing the stress response and overreactions, and letting go of the attachments to beliefs. Let's go through the hand positions. The first hand position is your hand here at the occiput, where the base of your skull meets your neck. The second hand position is one hand width up. So wherever your pinky left off, you'll place your thumb just above that area and lay your hand down. The next hand position, same exact thing, one hand width. So wherever your pinky left off, place your thumb just in front of that area and lay your hand down. And continuing just like that. So the next hand position, wherever your pinky left off, place your thumb just in front of that area and lay your hand down. So the idea is you want to systematically cover your brain from the base of your skull all the way to the eyebrows, bringing focus and awareness to all of the structures underneath your hand from the outermost layer of the brain to the deepest layers of the brain. If it takes you more than four hand positions to cover your brain, that's fine. Take as many hand positions as you need. If you need to do just a little uh, half hand position to come all the way up to the eyebrows, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. The last hand position is going to be your hands here on the sides of your head. So you'll place your hand just above your ear canal with the heel of your hand here in the temple region just behind your eye socket and the fingers of your hand pointing towards the back. And you'll do this on both sides. The idea here is that you're covering the sides of the brain and the deeper structures towards the midline of the brain. 
At each of these hand positions, you'll maintain your focus on improving the circulation and communication, etc. You'll take two deep exaggerated breaths, and at the same time, you'll alternate tapping on the head brain, heart brain, and enteric brain. So just to demonstrate, remember when you tap on your head to have your fingers spread out wide enough so that when you tap on your head, you're tapping on both sides of the head simultaneously in order to activate both hemispheres of the brain. And if it makes it easier for you, feel free to synchronize your tapping with your inhalations and exhalations, moving to the next brain every time you transition between an inhale and exhale. So for example, inhale, Tap on the head brain, exhale, tap on the, on the heart brain, inhale, tap on the enteric brain, exhale, tap on the head brain, and so on. Alternating through, rotating through the three brains as you move from inhale to exhale. You don't have to do that, but if it helps you, then go for it. So let's say you are in the top hand position. Establish your focus at each hand position. So optimizing circulation and communication, etc. A lot of people like to have their eyes closed when they're doing the cortices. So visualize the circulation, communication, the stress reduction, etc. Sense it happening. Once you have your focus established, inhale, tap on your head, exhale, tap on the next brain, inhale, Tap on the next brain, and exhale, tap on the next brain. After you've tapped for two full deep breaths, you simply move to the next hand position. So again, wherever your pinky left off, place your thumb right in front of that area, establish your focus, inhale and continue the tapping process alternating through the three brains as you take the two full deep exaggerated breaths for the final hand position you'll have your hands on the sides of your head so placing your hands on the sides of your head again establish your focus Visualize the circulation and communication happening, etc. Stress reduction, letting go of belief systems. Once you have your focus established, take a slow deep breath in. Remove one hand, it doesn't matter which, and as you exhale, tap the three brains, alternating through each of the three brains as you exhale. When you're ready, inhale, replace your hand, establish your focus again, and then when you're ready, exhale, remove the other hand, and as you're exhaling, tap through the three brains, head brain, heart brain, and enteric brain. When you're ready, inhale, replace your hand, and then you can put your hands down. Please keep in mind that tapping at each hand position for two deep breaths is only a guideline. If you want to tap longer, that's fine. Many people will continue tapping until they feel a shift in the energy. All right, so does that make sense? Let's tap out our cortices together. 